All right, today we are writing the equation for a line. So notice I've given you three lines on a graph right here, and we're gonna write an equation for them. Now before we do that, just a quick refresher, we're gonna write them in slope-intercept form. And for slope-intercept form, it's in the general equation y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. So when we're writing equations for these lines, we're gonna be looking for those two things in order to write an equation for it, the slope and the y-intercept. All right, so let's start with graph A here. Here's graph A. And notice, if you're looking for the y-intercept, here's the y-axis, here's where it crosses the y-intercept, uh, here's where it crosses the y-axis at one, so I know my y-intercept is one. For the slope, I need to pick two points and find the rise and the run. So in other words, what's the pattern of the points from one point to the next? So notice from here, I'm going down, right, down, right, down, right. And it's the same pattern over and over again. It's going down four and to the right three. So my slope is negative four over three. Now we have enough information to write an equation for line A. Y equals my slope negative 4 over 3x, don't forget the x, plus the y-intercept, which is 1. There's my equation for graph A. Now, let's do graph B. Graph B is over here. So I'll start with my y-intercept. On the y-axis, graph B crosses at 4. And now for the slope. Between each pair of points, going to the right, I'm going up and right, up and right, up and right, up and right. And if you notice, the pattern's always the same. Up one, right three. So my slope is one over three. We now have enough information to write an equation for line B. Y equals my slope, which we just found, one third x, plus the y-intercept in this case is four. So our equation for line B is y equals one-third x plus four. Boom, done. All right, now we're on to line C. That's this line right here. So same thing, start by finding the y-intercept. Here's the y-axis, here's my line, crosses right there. Now notice, it does cross the y-axis at a negative place. This is negative four, this is negative six, so the y-intercept's negative five. Now, let's find the slope. Notice, this slope is going up and to the right, up and to the right, up and to the right, and it goes up and to the right the same amount every single time. Notice it goes up two, right one, every single time. So my slope is two over one, which reduces to just two if you wanna think of it that way. All right, so we now have enough information to write our equation for line C. Y equals my slope, two, so Y equals two X, plus my Y-intercept, which is negative five, so plus negative five. Or, if you wanna simplify it a little bit, you could write Y equals two X, instead of plus negative five, just minus five. Either one means the same thing, all right? So that's how you write an equation for a line. Just remember, you're looking for two things, the slope and the y-intercept. And once you get them, you just put them in the right spots in the equation, you've got the equation. All right? So if this video helped you out, make sure you hit that like button, and then also, sub also subscribe. It really helps us out. With that being said, thanks for viewing, and I will see you again next time.